January um, 31st, um, um, really to give us um, time um, to incorporate um, other ideas that have come up um, so that we'll have a successful um, debt exchange program. Um, the exchange program, I think we are targeted um, something like 80% participation um, as a way um, to get enough <coughs> to ensure that we are within the, the parameter. Um, uh, but as long as um, we are able um, to be in the perimeter of 55% um, um, our debt to GDP, um, we should be able to, to go forward um, with it. Um, so the, I think one of the things that should really be clear um, to, um, to all of us um, category that it is uh, a voluntary um, program. A voluntary um, program and expectation you know, when we say 80% participation, um, that some people may choose not to participate. Um, so that, that should be very factual um, for everybody. The question really uh, becomes um, that given um, the state uh, that we are in with the economic crisis, as Prof prayed us in, what is it that we all can do to make sure that this happens? And what is it that we do to make sure that we are alive after it has happened? Um, and so therefore, um, we have um, proposed uh, a program uh, in which um, there's been a lot of pushback um, and um, very you know, high decibel level on, on, some, on some issues. And really, a part of that informed um, our decision um, to postpone it to January um, 31st. Um, I think the challenge uh, for us um, going forward really is um, how do we balance um, the current crisis of our own needs um, to also ensure that the community is kept alive, even as individuals are kept alive. And that is a challenge that we have. Um, so the issue of um, standing behind uh, individuals, uh, fighting for rights um, as are perceived, um, I think it's, it's, it's a very fair thing to happen in any democratic progressive society. I think the challenge you know, for us is where do we draw the balance? And how do each of us in the various categories contribute to ensuring that the community does not die off? And in that milieu, um, what is most sustainable for all of us to go forward? Would we have different ideas as to how to structure it, etc.? That everybody will have ideas. Um, but in the end, we have to make a decision that makes sure that the individual is alive and the country also is alive. I think fortunately for all of us, um, fortunately, and we all got a glimpse of what happens uh, when there's uncertainty and disorderliness. Um, last year, with a steep decline of the foreign exchange and a sense of um, directionless. Um, once we were able to secure uh, the staff level agreement, there was a sense of calm and certainty. Um, so the challenge for all of us who are contributing to this exercise um, to make sure that uh, everybody participates in a way or that nobody carries too much of the burden is how do we balance to ensure that the community remains for all of us to work with. At the same time, all of us um, are able to be alive through through the process, um, and that's why, you know, I'm really pleased that we can have um, this conversation today. Um, take ideas, share them, and see how the republic will still be standing, you know, after this. 
and it has many, many, many facets um, to it. Uh, we've been talking with the, with the unions, etc. There are issues of structural changes that must happen. Uh, there are medium-term, long-term issues that we have to contend with. Um, but the debt program um, we must do. Um, how we do it with different ideas involved, we can we can um, contain that, ensuring that um, we don't miss uh, what we call landing zone in 2028. Um, so um, I like to welcome you here, and really hoping for um, a very engaged and um, discourse, uh, which will help us um, uh, make um, some changes. Um, that will ensure that um, the bond exchange is successful and at the same time all of us participate to the tune in which we will be alive to enjoy the benefits in future. Um, so thank you uh, very much indeed uh, for that and that's what um, we'll have for everybody. But I think we should be very clear that this is um, a voluntary exercise. Uh, and so um, I have seen some really very um, dramatic videos um, as if the situation has already commenced um, and, and that's really um, not true. It is voluntary. We anticipate about an 80 percent maybe success um, rate and that will be enough to keep us within the parameter. Um, and so let's keep that at the top of our mind. But our key issue uh, any society, as I say, that does not protect its elderly, uh, it's not the type of society we want. So these are um, welcome uh, remarks, but we should, you know, do that and advocate uh, in ways that do not break the fabric um, of the society. Um, so thanks, and um, really look forward to what we are going to be discussing going forward. And thank you very much indeed.